Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you three things you should know about using the search function in OneNote 2016. The last video I did, which is linked in the description, was all about using the search function in the newer version of OneNote, which is called OneNote for Windows 10. This video picks up where that one left off and goes into the things that are different about using search in OneNote 2016. And note that I'm only covering the differences in how search works in this video, so check that other video out if this one doesn't cover the issue you're looking for. I am filming in OneNote 2016, so if you're using a different version or device, your screen may look a little bit different than mine. So the three differences I'm going to show you are uh, are one is that the search box is located in a different spot number two tag searching is much more powerful and number three you have two different storage options for notebooks which may impact your searching so uh, that very first thing is really quick your search bar is actually up here on the upper right um, whereas in OneNote for Windows 10 it's on the upper left and that's all there is to say about that it's just in a different location the second thing I want to show you has to do with searching tags in OneNote 2016. As I showed in the last video, you can search for tags in OneNote for Windows 10, but the tag search function in OneNote 2016 is way more powerful. So let's get into that. First, let's talk about how to actually do a tag search in OneNote 2016. Uh, in the last video where I showed um, how to search tags in OneNote for Windows 10, we used the generic search function. However, in OneNote 2016, there is a find tags function built right into the home menu. So I'm going to click on home and you can see that all the way over here, almost on the right, there is a find tags function. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it brings up a tag summary over here in my right hand pane. Now, this top drop down menu, you have some options for how you group your tags. Mine are grouped by tag name so that all the financial tags are together, the idea tags are together, the important tags are together, etc. But you have some other options like you could group them by section, by title, by date, or by note text. Um, on the bottom is a menu that lets you choose a uh, where you're searching. So in my case, I've selected just this notebook just to keep the um, results of the search really readable and make, make for a better video quality. But you could search in all of your notebooks, you could search in today's notes, yesterday's notes, etc. You have quite a few options there, but I'm going to keep my search limited to just this notebook. Now the final part I want to show you about searching tags has to do with the option up at the top that says show unchecked items only. So that's right here under the tag name. When we covered searching for the to-do tag in the previous video, which was uh, searching in OneNote for Windows 10, there was no option to only get the checked or unchecked to-do tags. The search did appear to sort them with the unchecked items first, followed by the checked items, which is pretty helpful, but I think this version um, is really great because you can actually select only what you want to see. So if you only wanted to see the unchecked to-do items, you can get them doing this. So let me go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to click this show unchecked items only. And now it's showing me just the unchecked to do tags that are in this notebook. So you could probably imagine how this would be really helpful if you had to do tags kind of scattered all over your notebook and you wanted to gather them all in one place to see what you uh, still have to do. So aside from having a powerful search function for tags, OneNote 2016 has one other feature that I think is really useful if you use tags. Um, I'm going to uncheck the box I just checked. And we're going to go down to the bottom of this right pane, and there is this option to create a summary page. So I'm going to show this to you in a minute, but what it'll do is create a summary of all the tags that I've used in this notebook. Again, you have options that you can create a summary page for all of your notebooks or today's notes, etc. But I'm only going to do this notebook just to make the tag summary a little bit more easy to read. So I'm going to click this uh, Create Summary Page. And, and you can see like right here it created a brand new page that it summarizes all the tags in this notebook. Um, it does not have a title, so I'm going to just uh, title this tag Summary. 
uh, and I'm just going to scroll to the bottom so you can see exactly what this looks like. Um, you'll notice it looks very similar to the tag summary that's in my right pane. Um, but this is actually a freestanding page that will stay in your notebook indefinitely, as opposed to just a pane that's going to go away when I navigate away from it. Now, if you hover over a specific tag, you can see that this little tiny um, notebook icon appears. And when I hover over the, night, the notebook, it's uh, giving me the word demo. And this is telling me what page this note appears on. So um, that's really helpful, but you may not know uh, what that page called demo is. So what you can do is uh, actually click it. And now we're on a page called demo where both of those uh, tags with the financial symbol are. So I'm going to go back to my tag summary page. And the other thing that comes up when you hover over this little notebook is something that says, tell me more. This was actually hard like to click on. I had trouble getting my cursor over it, but I did do it. And all it does is take you to a section um, in the help section on linked notes. So if you want to read that, you can go ahead and do that. Now, in this example, I ran my tag summary only on the current notebook. The little notebook icon that appears like this tells me the page on which the original note appears. When I did this same exercise a few days ago, I created a tag summary for all of my notebooks, and the little notebook icon showed me what section the original note was in. So it appears that the tag icon will show you where the original note is, but whether it shows a page or a section depends on the scope of your original search. So there are three final things I want to tell you about the tag summary page. One is that the tag summary page does not update. So if you run a tag summary page or create a tag summary page and then immediately add tags, um, your tag summary page is now out of date. Uh, the second thing is editing the note on the tag summary page does not edit the original note. And this includes checking a to-do tag. So if you check it on your tag summary page, it does not check it on the original note. So you can think of your tag summary like a point in time snapshot. And if you do want to use this as part of your workflow or part of prioritizing your work or summarizing things, make sure you rerun it to get the current version. So now we're going to move on to the third difference in using search for OneNote 2016, which is that you have two storage options for notebooks. So uh, the newer version of OneNote um, allows you to store notebooks only on Microsoft's cloud service, which is called OneDrive. However, OneNote 2016 gives you the option to store your notebooks on your own hard drive. I personally haven't done this. I've only used Microsoft's cloud service, uh, but I did check the search function out by using a test notebook that I stored on my hard drive, and I was able to find my test words no problem. I don't know of any specific issues due to the ability to store notebooks in two different places, but as I mentioned in the prior search video, make sure that any notebooks you want included in your search are open and not closed. Um, and if you do happen to find any significant differences in search that are due to being able to store your notebooks in more than one place, uh, let me know and I can add that information to the description of this video. Hmm. So uh, that's it. That is the end. That is three things to know about searching in OneNote 2016. Um, just a quick summary of how the search function differs from OneNote for Windows 10. And there's really only one significant difference, and that's in the tag searching, and then two minor ones. So it's mostly the same, but I do think that tag search in OneNote 2016 is really powerful and useful. If you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, leave a comment on this video and I will do my best to answer you. If you want to see uh, more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goal setting, productivity, and life management, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to talk to other OneNote users on Facebook, you can join one of the two Facebook communities I host, and those are the OneNote Bullet Journal group or the OneNote for iPad group. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.